See how much of your weight you can blame on your genes. Not your genes. I don't get it. Because you guys don't know what I look like or much about me, I thought it might be mildly interesting for you to learn about me through my DNA, or at least as much as this 23andMe thing looks at. I think the idea with it is you give them some money, and they do a map of your DNA telling you things like what your eye color is. But that cost only covers a part of the process, and they otherwise want to make some money, so they sell your genetic information for research and whatnot. To perhaps annoying result, but in Canada here at least, I'm not really afraid of getting denied insurance or anything like that. I think for me, my perceived benefits of the research and everything is greater than my fears of genetic discrimination. But who knows what our future relationship is going to be with our DNA. It could be like all the worst parts of Gattaca. Okay, so parents are Asian and European. Am I part Indian or Native American? Broadly East Asian and Native American. Okay. So I think the idea with humans is we traveled over the Bering Strait when it froze, and that's how we got to America. So I guess there are still some broad similarities between East Asians and Native Americans. Yeah, mostly Chinese here. A little bit of Yakut. What's Yakut? Okay, so reindeer folk. The other side is European, British, Irish, French, German. It's not saying which one is paternal or maternal, though. I guess we'll never know. Oh, here we go. So maternal is Chinese, and paternal is European, and all over. Traits. Alcohol flush reaction. Flushes. Also hugs people and falls down. So as I understand this, and maybe I don't, you've got alcohol, which breaks down into acetaldehyde, which breaks down into acetic acid. Alcohol is what gives you the buzz. Acetaldehyde makes you go red, get headaches, and increases your risk of esophageal cancer. People who flush create an enzyme that isn't as good at breaking down acetaldehyde, and they get a buildup of it. And I think other people also have a stronger enzyme breaking down alcohol faster, so they have a harder time getting a buzz, and they get a worse flush. I used to drink a lot. I get really happy when I drink, and I imagine I'm a lot more fun, although that could just be the alcohol, but get really depressed for maybe a week after, for which the easy cure can be more drinking, especially if you don't recognize the connection. It's a vicious positive feedback loop, so I don't drink at all anymore. Bitter taste perception. Can taste. There are people that can't taste bitter, 80% chance of not being able to taste certain bitter flavors. If you're out there and have never tasted bitter, don't feel sad. It's the worst of the flavors. Blonde hair, 10% chance. Yeah, my hair is pretty brown. Earwax type, wet. As I understand it, Asians have dry earwax. So is it like a simple dominance thing? Looks like it. Mendelian trait, is that what it's called? I don't know, I'm not good with words. In the videos, I don't really use terms unless I feel like I need to refer to it later, so often I won't end up using many terms. Reading the comments, it seems like that's really frustrating to some people. Some people think in words, and maybe they learn really well by just learning terms. But for me, I'm less interested in trying to learn the words for things as I am trying to visualize the whatever, whatever. Hair curl? Slightly curlier on average. Sure, it's curly. Unless if I use shampoo or conditioner. If I use shampoo or conditioner, I look like, like Bruce Lee. So I don't use shampoo or conditioner anymore. I haven't used soap on my hair or my body for the last three or so years with absolutely no social consequences. I just rub down with water in the shower. I still use soap on my butthole though because I do not want to rub my butthole. Maybe people just quietly know I'm smelly, but when I tell people, they don't say like, oh, this explains so much about you. They just look at me like I'm an asshole. Baldness, increased odds. Stupid balding. Muscle performance, likely sprinter. Never thought about that before certainly not using that to its full potential. I like being fit, but I hate exercising. Working out is like a mix of really hard and really boring. Asparagus, typical odds of detecting. Yeah, I can smell asparagus urine in one's urine. Smelling asparagus in one's urine. So is that something different about the urine or something different about the nose? Methane thiol, methan, methanethanol, methanethiol. So it's a metabolite? Oh wait, they don't even know. Surely you would just pair up people who can smell it with people who can't and get them to smell each other's urine. Would that work? That would work. Maybe they can't get funding for a study of people smelling each other's piss. Oh. Things are getting less confident. Caffeine consumption? Typical. Yeah, I don't drink caffeine anymore. Oh, there's more. Typical. I guess these are studies of different genes. I've gone on and off caffeine over the years. When I go on it, I'm too hyper for a day or two, but then for the next couple of weeks I'm focused and productive, or at least I feel focused and productive. But then after that I just feel normal, but I need the caffeine to feel normal. 
which is annoying. Then I go off it and become lethargic for maybe a month or more. Until the next time I forget why I don't take caffeine. Cilantro, slightly higher odds of disliking. Lower odds of disliking. Yeah, I love cilantro. Hypospadias, what's that? Urethra in a different position. It's probably inconvenient. Breast morphology. If I was a woman, I would have typical breasts, typical breasts, slightly larger breasts. I don't think I would like breasts. That's like two extra pits to get hot and sweaty. Two stars of confidence, that's not enough confidence. Genetic risk factors. Very inabsent, very inabsent. That's good. Drug response. Clopidogrel efficacy reduced. Hepatitis C treatment reduced. Simvastin induced myopathy. That sounds scary. Inherited conditions. Variant absent, variant absent, variant absent. Maple syrup urine disease. That's not a disease. That's like a superpower. Oh, death in newborns. That's not good. Health tools. O positive. I should go give some blood. Neanderthal ancestry. A little bit of Neanderthal. I pronounce it Neanderthal. Some people say Neanderthal. Both are acceptable. So 23andMe also does some research stuff. I think what they do is they look at what people answer about themselves and look for correlations in the DNA to see if it's heritable or how heritable it is. Like, do you have a fear of heights? I don't know. When I'm up high, I do have a fear of death by gravity but it doesn't like cripple me, I think. I think I'm fine. Do you routinely have trouble getting to sleep at night? Yes. Your head hits the pillow, and then you remember every socially bad thing you've done since you were six. So that's me, I guess. Here's you guys. You are mostly male, a greater ratio of male to female for the youngins, and it goes down for older viewers. Looks like it's mostly the same by country. Lots of girls from the Bahamas. Or females. Male. Female. Looks like you're mostly the big English speaking places, which makes sense. Devices. Computer, mobile phone, tablet. I think that's really all they let me know about you. Some news, I guess. As of two months ago, I'm trying to do this place full time. So hopefully videos will come at you regularly. Also, shout out to people who've been doing translations for me. Thank you so much. That's, that's really awesome. That's it. Thanks for watching.